How are we doing guys? How's everyone doing? Thought I'd drop in there today and uh, just check on you, see what the crack is and see if everyone's all right and blessed. Uh, just getting back uh, to a point on um, I seen on YouTube when I was locked up. Uh, I've seen a few videos of police interceptors going around so I just thought I'd address the situation and what have you. Um, first of all yes it is me unfortunately but that wasn't why i was locked up for it that was about a year and a half ago of a um just a just a bit of street politics basically uh yeah fucking what happened happened you seen what happened to the person's houses and the person's vans and what have you uh just a bit of a gang war uh and i had to give some gangsters the medicine you know what i mean so that was that's it uh really Sent me to jail for aggravated burglary in section 18. Dropped for attempt murder. Um, but yeah, that was just street politics. Um, but yeah, uh, that were that were about a year ago. And I've been on uh, interceptors, like I said, a couple of times. Um, there's another video what I've got what I've got on my Instagram what I haven't put out uh, onto YouTube, but I might give you a treat today and put it on today. Yeah. Um, from a few years ago, it was a good one in Skegness. Uh, I was in Ingermells and what have you, and I was uh, me uh, got into a, a shootout, um, fucking with some kids up in up in my way, and uh, me and my dad took off up, up up on the run over there while they were raiding for us and what have you. Uh, and yeah, fucking, they ended up catching me. I was I was living in hotels under a fake ID and a fake and a fake name. Uh, and after after a while, like I was driving around uh, in my I had a Range Rover Sport at the time, uh, which was obviously legitimate to me. But what I did is then I tr I changed I changed the plates of her and changed it so it was on my cousin's uh, Range Rover, who, who no name to me. But after a while, CID must have got this information off some grassy bastard somewhere. And I remember coming down Ingemell Strip, yeah, and there were a fucking ton of armed police running up and down everywhere. Fuck it, where is he? Fucking block, block the full Ingemells off from Butlins all the way to the Old Castle Road, Lincoln, looking for me and all fucking what have you. So, um, what was I going to say there? On that one, I was lucky, like, I was a firearms with intent to endanger life charge. I ended up getting the charges dropped due to insufficient evidence and what have you. Uh, but, but that was about eight, nine years ago. Um, took a load of money out of the car. And uh, tried hitting me on a money laundering charge uh, and a confiscation order, which then they sent me to court up in towards Lincoln, and I ended up I ended up fighting it in a confiscation court in a, in a small in a small county claims court. Sorry, and won all my money back. You know what I mean? So it was all it was all right. I got a good result from that because obviously I was innocent, wasn't I? You know, so um, but anyway, that was ten years ago. Fucking can't be chewed can't be chewed that there now yeah like i said guys i've come out with a different approach a uh, different respect again I, and to be fair with you i sorted myself out the last time i was out i told you i wasn't going back to jail yeah remember and 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 i didn't do nothing i kept my head down I was, all i was doing was just doing this youtube and what have you just doing what fighters do we were selling the fight getting getting things ready and while you're selling the fight and promoting the fucking people are ringing the fucking uh, probation service up, getting in touch with the local police stations. You know what I mean? Like, like, and 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 then saying, why is this guy who's on parole allowed to get on here and fucking organise fights and what have you for money, trying to get me sent back inside? What's all that about? You know what I mean? We're all fucking. What, what, what world are we living in? What world are we living in, man? You know what I mean? People who's who's been convicted for fucking rape. I've the I've, I've, I've the audacity to try and tarnish my name, yeah. I've only ever heard fucking known criminals, yeah. Known criminals, men, big men, supposed gangsters, yeah. Like, and that's all I've ever been to jail for. I've never been jailed for nothing else. You know what I mean? But oh, don't get me wrong. A lot of these gangsters, what they do is to because they don't want to lose face, they'll get the missus to put statements in. Oh, I'm not a grass. Oh, look, it want me. It were our ass. Well, listen, my message is to this, yeah. You don't see my missus ever putting a statement in. She never put one in in her life. You know what I mean? Ever. Or any of my family members. The, you, you just can't get... You can't get... I challenge the world if any of my family members have even put any statements in. You know what I mean? And, my, and, and half, half of my family, yeah, uh, the other half are law-abiding citizens. Good people. Good, genuine people. Worked all their lives. You know what I mean? 
the other half, like that, yeah, fucking obviously, uh, my cousins and my dad and whatever, yeah, fucking bits of, and, 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 and all that, I've, I've, I've done a lot of time in jail and everything, and yeah, and, and, and we have been associated to be naughty bastards, you know what I mean, but fucking, uh, apart from that, yeah, it's a fucking joke, um, like, like fucking shadow boxers, co shadow boxer has commented on, on my last video, do you know what I put, and put, had the audacity to say, take my name off now, You've got you've you've got so long an hour, or I'm ringing Doncaster Police Station up, and I'm pressing charges, and I'm getting you put back in where you are now, and I'm like, what the fuck is going on here? What's going on? Well, it's all right to go around slapping bits of fucking muppets, like well, I can't say I can't say anyone a fight a fighting man's a muppet, but like journeymen getting journeymen down and and punching them up bare knuckle. Andy Goy, Andy Goy, Andy Goy, a, a good few years ago, um, when I used to box at the Metrodome in Barnsley. Uh, was on a show there versus this guy called Craig. I forgot his second name, but he got knocked out in like first five seconds in round one. And that was with fucking 12 ounce gloves. You know what I mean? You're no good fighting fucking journeyman, mate. You know what I mean? Fucking, what's that going to get you? Do you know what I'm saying? I won't fucking embarrass myself getting out of bed and training fucking 12 weeks every day, every morning to fight a fucking journeyman. What the fuck's all that about? You know what I mean? You want to fucking prove your sense of your shadow boxer. You know what I mean? You want to fucking get your name up there. You want to take your subs from 20,000 to 100,000, yeah? You come with me, son. You know what I mean? Just send the dates over and we'll fly over to you. No problem. Uh, but we're not fucking... Not really interested anyway, fucking... It's, bit, it's a bit pond life and a bit petty, isn't it? You know what I mean? I bet I should stick to the, stick to the real route, the BKFC. That's where, that's where it's at, where the top pedigree's at. You know what I'm saying? Ah, uh, fuck, fuck all this fucking bottom feeding shit. You know what I'm saying? Fucking grass in this, grass in that. We've got people fucking locked up in fucking Philippines. Detention centres. Supposed to be fucking around with kids. What's going on in this world? Do you know what I'm saying? All for the fucking views. You're lucky you're not took out into the back of a fucking shallow grave and have two put in back of your fucking head. You know what I mean? For fucking around with kids. What the, what, what, what the fuck's going on? Um, but but, but apart, from, apart from this, guys. Listen. Look at me, yeah? I am happy. You know what I'm saying? I'm really happy. I'm fucking good. And look how much weight, guys, I've lost. I am fucking fresh, mate. I am pounding. Look at it all coming off now. I'm fucking trimming up. I'm ready, mate. I'm ready. I'm getting there. I'm getting there. And uh, anyway, like I said, enough of that and more of that. When um, later on in this month, hopefully, the card should be introduced anyway for the BKFC in April. So my face should be on it there. Either against Jack Draper or someone else. So we'll, we'll, we'll get it popping then, innit? So... Yeah, let's go. I just thought I'd give you a little update, guys. You know what I'm saying? So, I'll share this video anyway with this other police interceptors thing. If you tune in in about... I say tune in in about an hour. And then back onto my thing and put it on. You'll enjoy it. Yeah, it's good. Shows all arms, armed cops flying down looking for uh, looking for me. It's decent. I enjoyed it. But anyway, guys, yeah. Enough of that, yeah? Much love and peace. Take it easy. And uh, God bless you. And thanks to all my subs. And thanks to everyone out there. And what have you. I'm trying to I'm trying to promote and send the right message out. Yeah. What better advice to learn to someone who's done it all. I've been in fucking 16 of the worst fucking institutions there is in this country. Yeah. I'm sat down on the GOAD blocks. I've been in. I've been blocks within a block. You know what I mean? The fucking. When you get us put down in, down the block in prison guys. Yeah. When you're in your cell. There's only one other place where you can go, and that's the proper hole, yeah? Where there's no bed, no toilet, no nothing. That's if you smash your fucking cell up when you're down the block, or if you start beating fucking uh, prison guards up fucking while you're down the segregation, yeah? You get put in the hole, and usually in the in the block segregation system in the jail, you only usually have one hole, tops sometimes two, if they're big jails. I've been in every fucking hole. Let me spell it out. Hell hole I've been in. Every institution I've been in, I've been into the fucking hellhole. You know what I mean? Because I do rep it out. Because that's what I see. I used to see it as fun. Fun times. But now, now I'm getting a bit older now. Like I said, I'm 30 there, chilling. I want to make a few quid. And I want to fucking... And I want to leave my mark on this world. And I want to do right by my family. I want to do right by my true friends. And, and I want to I wanna settle down, man, and chill. You get me? Like everyone else. And fucking live comfortable. And fucking start getting some serious fucking cash. And, and, and make a success. And leave a good mark in my life. I'm not all about this fucking... This he said, she said shit. And all these fucking grassing bastards. Fucking uh, re ringing police stations up. If any YouTube video offends them. You know what I mean? These fucking snowflakes 
uh, uh, convicted sexual offenders. You know what I mean? Not been let, let me spell it out. Not been arrested. You've not been fucking bailed. You have been charged and tried in court for a sexual offence. And that is to shadow bacon and to oven chips. And that is convicted. Yeah? Convicted. Anyone what's convicted of a sex offence is on a sex register for 10 years anyway. All right, so you're on a sex register. So by law, you shouldn't be allowed 100 metres near a fucking school anyway. What the? What? I don't know what the fuck's going on. These fucking guys, man. Show me where these bacons are at. I'll kick fuck out of every one of them.